Hello dreamers, welcome back! Natalia has a lot to cover in this Diamond Painting 101 tutorial, as we'll be discussing the top 5 concerns when it comes to working with diamond paintings. Let's jump right in, but do us a favor and don't forget to hit that subscribe button before you forget. Hello everybody! Welcome back to my Tips and Tricks Tutorials 101 with Natalia and Dreamer Designs. I'm glad you're here because today we're going to talk about uh, five mistakes or maybe how to avoid those mistakes. So we're going to have five tips how to fix them. And number one will be it's the gaps between your drills. Have to fix or maybe have to avoid to even creating them by ourselves. The number two tip will be for you how to avoid popping drills and what is the popping drills. So we will see this more close when we get to my canvas as an example. Now the really annoying could be its creases and that's going to be my number three tip how to avoid and what to look for and how to fix it maybe. Um, the number four will be is missing drill drills and that is really unfortunate if you happen to have you order your canvas and you don't have enough drills what to do the number five tip will be how to avoid most common problems not to stick into your canvas while you're working on it or avoid pets land their fur on your canvas so let's go and talk close about by example of my canvas. All right, my lovely crafters, let's try to figure out why we have gap in, in between our drills. And this is the most common questions when somebody uh, looking on my canvas, they say, how you can do your beads so straight and you don't have those big gaps in your canvas? Well, let me see if I can fix your canvas as well by give you some good advice. As you can see, I have here my tray all lined up nice and pretty. They do look straight, right? They are beautiful and sparkle and they line up nicely. Okay, very pretty drills, they good. But when I pick up on my multiplacer, sometimes they move. And as you can see this way, it's not as straight anymore and they will line up on my tray. So let's try to see if we can place them on our symbol right in here it's a little triangle uh, and I will start in here I will place one and one doesn't even go in a slot in here because it didn't line up perfectly so I'm not gonna do any touch up right now I'm just gonna go ahead and put more my multiplacer and do next to this and I will do a few times and then we're gonna examine, okay? And I try to do my best and here actually four drills stuck to my pen. And more four. Okay, so let's see now. As you can see, it's not as bad in here, but because those drills was lined up a little bit not straight and they moved. So the best way to fix them, it just kind of push them a little bit to each other like this. Uh, it will take your time and you kind of lose your time, but that is best way how to fix it. But if you don't want to fix it, um, and to be honest, I did the review about a gap in, uh, in my video, previous video where I show multi-placer where you can add seven beads at the time and I was doing a review in here which I already kind of fix a little bit after my video but let's try to do just one okay one by one and I'm gonna place nicely straight on my squares I know what I'm doing with each bead and place them nicely and I'm not going to have any gaps between because my one placer, the only in here will have a gaps a little bit because this line I did with my multi-placer. So 
all I need to do see how like push a little bit together and that little gap in here disappear so what I'm saying to you guys if you use your one pan drill you're not gonna have any gaps because your beads gonna line up in perfect line so let's place this two more and then I'm just gonna push this yellow close to it and boom you can see how nicely they line up in here there's no gap in at all so my choice is always go after one if I want to do canvas finish for review I do three placer but I always go and fix it after kind of each like three and three between the three I kind of push them a little bit together and they hide their gaps that the edge of this placer didn't let them go close to together so this is how you can place and this is how can you fix the problem about gapping the other problem can be and that's really really serious problem that sometimes we just wants to go away from the diamond painting and never come back uh, and this is the popping problem popping drills as we call in diamond painting so what this is for this example I pick one of my diamond painting that I spend hours and hours fixing it and it doesn't work as you can see for example in here this is all row that is coming out and this is not just a popping drills because they doesn't fit also it has a river of bubble air under the glue so the glue doesn't stick to the canvas and if I try to press on these beads let me try to get through the camera if I try to press it looks like it's go inside into the canvas looks like I can fix this right now front of you but five minutes later it will pop all back and if I go do my canvas with my fingers like this, I can feel the sharp edges of these drills that doesn't stick to the canvas. Like I can feel them. They are sharp under my finger. And that's how I know that that's a popping drills. They don't stick to the glue as much as you push them and they just keep popping up and up. And I want to zoom a little bit more close in here to the other part and you will see like it's really kind of visible I I'm sure you can see that you see this line it's sticking out which means all this line has air bubble under the glue and the bit just keep coming out I already rolled this canvas many many times with the roller try to fix it but more likely if I push one bit the other would pop out so why this happen this happened because the grid on the diamond painting too small for these beads or beads a little bit bigger size as a grid but I would say this is 2.5 millimeter drills and the grid printed on this canvas was wrong so that's why the beads don't have a room too much and even if they do have a room they just not stick into the canvas another example in here and you can see it's really visible this pink drill is a half out of the canvas you see that let's see try to push it down I push down minutes later it will be up again and that's how all canvas this is really really frustrating as you can see I push in here this bit coming out if I push here all this rows coming out so this is popping drills and also a second major problem it's a sec uh, popping drill and wrinkles or a river as we call in the glue in the canvas and if I move more up you can see another line of beads so this is really frustrating and very bad thing to deal with so the good news about dreamer design canvases 
um, we do not have pop and drills like like other companies do also we do have lifetime warranty with our diamond canvases and dreamer design they do have lifetime warranty guys what can be better than be protective to the rest of your life if something happened to your canvas you always can call customer service and they will try to fix your problem as soon as possible so so far i finished four diamond paintings and i work on two others i did not have one pop and drill problem so i do really recommend our canvases and i'm really happy with it so this is something that you don't want to deal with pop and drills it's a really really bad i did finish a few of this kind of canvases and i managed to fix them because i do die i do love diamond painting and for me you know all love is there i just need a little bit creativity and i did fix them so you know you don't want to gamble with the bad canvases and you have to go with the company that is more um beautiful good reviews and you know you're gonna have a good quality canvas to work on you're not gonna have any creases in your diamond canvas or you're not gonna have a pop and drills that is really really annoying and can cost you lots of beads would fall out from your um finished project so uh dreamer design doesn't have those problems and i'm really happy to say that that you are safe with our diamond paintings now let's talk about drills quality itself okay this big beautiful bag is from dreamers designs and each color if you would receive from dreamers design they would be this kind of fantastic nice quality clean clean drills and our drills in dreamers designs is made of not recycled plastic as other companies do that's why they are so super shiny and if you already did at least one painting from this company you will fall in love because like i say i'm gonna take my puppy for a walk outside yes it's my diamond painting i'm taking it outside for a walk on the sunshine because the sparkles are out of this world they are very very shiny when sun hit so let's see what kind of problem we can have if we order from somewhere else so for this example i have here tray and i put on a big tray just so we can see what's going on in here let me shake it up a little bit and as even right now do you see how much garbage we have here let me put them a little bit into the lines like you see what i mean you paint for the drills you paint for quality and now look this drills it's hot mess look at how much garbage in this tray this form diamonds lots of them with the holes in the drills not sure if you're gonna see right now quickly as i'm moving but it's really 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 dirty so um you have to like literally pick through the tray to find good diamonds uh, also in here lots of diamonds that they have like a shape of the crater and those particular gems never will stick to the diamond paint and canvas because they shape like a bow um i'm trying to figure out if i can pick one right now for you to show maybe if you can use this one okay i catch one now let's try to get into the camera to see what i mean okay do you see have this kind of have like a little crater inside it's not smooth straight so when you place i call it like a bow you see that when you place this gem it will pop out of your canvas so usually i discard them because this kind of diamond not gonna stick and it's like tons tons in here 
really really bad condition so that's why it's like if you would have this kind of diamonds which we do not have this kind of poor quality with dreamer design but i'm just saying for the example if you would receive like these gems and you let them know they would replace it for you because that's what quality about about their gems is just amazing you're not gonna have it gems like this that i don't think i even gonna use them unless one day i will short for this color and i will have to go in here and pick the best ones but i mean look at that it's just horrible also it could be i think i already tossed all those drills on a garbage but when you have two drills stuck together and they look like a pillow you know what i mean when they stick together so obviously they were put together into the container when they didn't cure good enough after processing or coloring and they would stuck very hard to each other and you cannot separate them so i did have that problem and i already throw them on a garbage because I try to separate them even with the some people using pill grater they say that's what they call or separator and just did not work for me nothing because those gems was really really bad so that's another problem where you can have with different companies when you order your diamond painting so you just need to be careful where you order the other major problem could be when you order from different company it's when you finish your diamond painting and all of a sudden you realize that you are short on some colors of DMC drills and in this example uh, some of you probably remember this beautiful picture that I ordered uh, from different company on Aliexpress and this was beautiful tulips and I still keep in this just for the review purposes and um, I did place already some gems on this canvas from dreamers designs because I did have leftover dr uh, drills from one of my dreamer design canvases so I place missing drills already in here but if you look in here there's a big spot in the same color in here same color that I have all over this as you can see here patch then all the way up there when you see those black spots that's all missing drills so that's annoying too when you pay good money for your canvas and you're not receiving enough drills and in this uh, example I would say I was thankful that company decided to send me a replacement for my missing drills but when I received my drills they were totally different DMC color even I told them about which color I need they shipped me um, some of them back was same DMC number but totally different shade so obviously I did not place them and I'm waiting that I will receive uh, one time dreamers design diamond painting with same DMC code so I will place them in here to finish finally this tulips uh, diamond painting so yes we do not have um, the problem and if we do sometimes maybe I don't know I did not run uh, of any diamonds yet even if you do the dreamer design would replace your canvas with new uh, diamonds or even send you a uh, new kit depends what what's your problem with the kit so i think this is the like a safe thing to do to order kits from the company that supports your needs and will replace if it's something is wrong which is insurance it's always good to have insurance about diamond painting so we never run out of you know this is like it's upsetting to me because I was so much enjoying doing this diamond canvas and all of a sudden I stuck in here for half of the year trying to find same DMC color and I purposely don't want to order because as we know if I order already they send me same DMC color but the shade was different so that's kind of upsetting to me but you know one day 
I will finish and this is another common problem that we do receive with diamond paintings if we um, order them from company that they not support um, not support your insurance that you will have everything in the kit that you need and the end of this video I would love to give you one more great tip guys what to do just for in case you know maybe you rip this sheet clear sheet and you don't have replacement um, what to do and I see many ladies making mistakes by posting in the groups on Facebook to replace this and suggest to the new diamond painters to use wax paper this is absolutely big no 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 wax paper allowed it will stick really really hard to your uh, glue the best thing that you can use it's parchment paper not a wax paper parchment paper this paper doesn't stick to the glue and it's easy to replace the whole sheet or let's just say how many of you guys made this mistake and I'm guilty on that one when one time I was using canvas and I drill from the bottom up and this part of the canvas wasn't finished but because I worked by the colors I wanted to place beads somewhere in the middle in my house coat I wasn't careful stick to my canvas and all those red fibers stick to my glue it took me a while to clean it up so what you can do you grab your parchment paper and you can put in here stick to your canvas and then you can easily put your hand and place your gems in here also your area will be protected from dust and pets hair if you don't work on the bottom part but you want to place drills in the middle also with this uh, parchment paper you can replace as you can see it's easy coming out from both sides from left side or right side I even would say that outside sheet coming out it was even much easier but just try a little bit in the corner what is better for you but it's coming out super super easy um, and you can replace the whole canvas you will have to like you can even cut on a little squares if you work say you work not by the color like I do but you work by sections square by square so simply cut your parchment paper on little squares let's say six by six and you place them all the way around your canvas glue and then you peel one square and place gems up there and if you have to cover back use use this cover again and that's the only way you can replace this uh, squeaky sheets that not everybody like them but I mean it's worked perfect for me I love to see colors even through the parchment paper you kind of can see but not as good so I do not use this for my diamond paintings the only I would use if I have to replace um, on, a, on a glue if my sheet rip accidentally this clear sheet plastic then I would replace this one and it doesn't stick from both sides so this is amazing tip for beginners guys if you don't know so please please don't make mistake and use wax paper wax paper stick into the glue and you will rip together with your symbols or even glue really really hard so that's a big mistake that lots of people make it and I want you to be safe so I hope this video was really big help for you guys parchment paper is to go and I would like to see your comments and suggestions for my next videos maybe thank you very much Natalia is such an expert we are so grateful for all of her hard work when it comes to these tutorials be sure to subscribe to this channel and hit that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any future videos goodbye for now and remember to paint with passion